Hi guys, Peter Finch here down at Quest Golf Academy and I've got a video lesson here with Tim Blake who's come all the way up from London and made quite remarkable progress in one three hour session. Now what we're going to talk about here is the difference between exaggerated feelings and real feelings and what you're seeing, the perspective that you have of your swing to what is actually happening in reality and Tim was just a perfect example of this today and has made remarkable progress. Now, a couple of things to point out that we've changed in Tim's setup here. Very, very strong grip on the left hand and the right hand, drifting underneath the club. This was causing a, club, a closed club face and the ball to go off to the left hand side. So we've adapted that straight away, made that left hand more neutral and that right hand more neutral as well, just to give the club face a little bit more chance to be square coming through the point of impact. Now, Tim's struggled a bit with an overswing and some other issues within the backswing for a while. And what we really saw on the backswing was a big rotation, but lots of wrist hinge and a lot of arm travel. Now, the problem with this and the issues that this was causing was as the club was taken away, even though it was a nice takeaway, stance slightly off to the right-hand side, which we changed as well, is the club was that far behind the body that Tim really had a couple of options. Either start shifting the weight towards the target, move those hips and loop the club a long way back inside, or more likely, from that very high position, was bring the club down very steep. And as soon as that club got into a steep position like this, the club was always likely to come down on top of the ball, travel left a little bit too much, and start to flick with the wrists because of that steep position. And this was causing a number of issues. It was a two-way miss, it was distance control problems, and there was a lot going on. So, we changed things. And boy, oh boy, did we manage to change things. Some absolutely remarkable differences that actually started to come about. Now, you can see here the difference in that address position with the grip. So, nowhere near as strong. That takeaway, we felt like it was shorter, more compact. We'll get onto that in a minute. And literally, it felt to Tim like he was stopping his swing here. And in fact, probably shorter than this. So he was stopping his swing here, left arm nice and straight, shoulders turned fully, but it did continue. So he got up to here rather than here. So still a full shoulder turn, club just short of parallel. This was a pitching swing, which again was a drill we'll get onto in a moment. But because he got into a position which was much more rounded, wasn't as steep coming down, this flick was vastly reduced. And coming through the ball, better distance control and better strike resulted. But it was remarkable what the differences were with the backswing. Because what Tim felt like he was doing was this. Taking the club massively on the outside, pressing that right elbow in towards the body and having hardly any wrist hinge at all. This was the length of Tim's backswing. But of course it wasn't. We got all the way up here. Still slightly across the line. This was one of the ones that actually got more across the line. But if we could hold it more into this position, we'd be very, very happy. A little bit of movement in the shaft that we don't want too much in the downswing, but path was greatly improved and started to also move straighter through the ball. And this was a real example of literally massive changes in, in perception. Because this grip, for a start for Tim, felt as he looked down like he could see absolutely no knuckles on his left hand at all. And yet we can see it's still a neutral grip. That takeaway felt like it was massively outside, massively short, but we know it's not. We know it's a nice full turn with the body, hardly any wrist hinge feeling, still got that full wrist hinge. And the differences were just remarkable. So, so happy with the changes that have been made. Really, really proud to see the differences that could be made in such a short space of time. And thank you so much for coming up from London. Guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you think. Remarkable differences just using this pitching swing as a drill whilst practicing pitching at the same time. And we will see you next time.